All right, this is part two of the match, the match muzzle loaders that I've been working on. So I showed you all the all the uh, the pistols that I did in the first one, in the first video. So I'm back to do a second one on the rifles. So let's start out with my first attempt on the rifles. So this is uh, I traced this out of a 22. I have a Marlin 25N. So I just Trace this out, um, glued the conduit pipe on, put a ramrod in, and this doesn't go down all the way because I only have a, the, a drill bit, a 5 16 drill bit. It couldn't go down long enough for the ramrod to go all the way in, but I couldn't cut the ramrod anymore, or else it would just get lost down in the tube. But, uh, you know, you can see here. But yeah, this one, like I said, this is the first attempt. No alligator clip here. Uh, not rounded off as much as I'd like it to be. Uh, you know, it's got some marks right in the sand all that well. But uh, like I said, first attempt, so not too shabby. Okay. The second one is I went with my Mosin Nagant. I have a Mosin Nagant. Um, uh, 1938 to carbine, so I just traced the stock and used the stock, or and you know you get the idea. Like I said, alligator clip here, even down here, still using the conduit. Just got the ramrod. Never fired this one. Don't really want to screw it up. This is the first actually good rifle that I had built, so. This one's pretty nice. Worked a lot. Worked pretty hard on this. Uh, I like this one. So up next is uh, other ones. Pretty much the same, except for a couple things. I'll point them out. Um, uh, I use a little bit darker stain, as you can see. And for this one, I use the same, the uh, the thinner tube with the cat. So this is just some Gorilla Glue. I haven't got around to taking off. So, uh, same thing, ramrod. So this one's pretty nice. I worked on this one for a while. Got a nick here, a couple small other things, but uh, this one's very nice. I like this one a lot. Took some time making this one, you know. Okay, the next one I made is actually the latest one that I have finished. So uh, I'll show you that one. This one is a um, sort of like an assault rifle that I was working on. Uh, so here it is. Um, this is not a scope. This is just a conduit pipe that I had that I spray painted. There's no optics in it, so I mean it's not a real scope. It's just there for the looks. Um, I had a Dremel, so I was able to, you know, clean this up pretty well and you know fit it to my hand pretty good, but. Uh, you know, I used an alligator clip, same thin tube with the cap. Uh, I spray painted the the metal parts, and I got some high gloss exterior bare paint. Put about ten coats of paint on this, so it's pretty, uh, pretty, you know, painted pretty nicely. And then these are just little pieces of two by four that I glued on there, and I glued this on there. So it's still pretty nice. I like this one a lot. This is my latest finished one. So as you can see, this one's this one's pretty cool. Uh, haven't fired it. Probably not going to. It's just there for uh, looks. Just uh, something to work on to keep my mind occupied. All right. And this latest one I've been working on. I haven't finished it yet, but uh, I'll show you it anyway. Uh, it's almost finished. Grab it here. Okay. This uh, it's a little longer than most of the other ones. Um, I have stained it. I sanded it down, stained it, and uh, I haven't polyurethaned it yet. I haven't put the alligator clip on yet. Um, but <coughs> this one, same thing. Mosin the gone. Trace the Mosin the gone once again. And this one's nice because. Um, it has this groove I carved into it. I dremeled it out, and um, 
what this actually is for is uh, I have some old bayonets. Not sure what they are. You know, I'm not sure what guns are even for. Uh, but I got them on eBay a couple years ago. And uh, I was like, it'd be cool if I could take this and put it on one of these. So I got my brain thinking and, uh, you know, I said, hey, let's, uh, let's see what we can do with this. So um, right here, inside here, you can see there's a dowel that I sunk in there. I drilled a hole, sunk a dowel in there, glued it in. So it's in there pretty solid. And what that'll do is fit into this groove in the bayonet. So just slide it on, slide it over the barrel, and there you go. It's on there. So it's on there pretty well too. I mean, like it's pretty solid. It doesn't. It doesn't. There's not a lot of give to it. Pretty good. Probably could stick it through someone's eye. Oops. Don't want to put that in the wrong way. So that's that. So I did. I specifically carved it for this bayonet. So this is probably one of the favorites I have. I got these on eBay for like 20 bucks, maybe 15, 20. Um, you go to a, a flea market or an antique store or something like that, or a military store, they try to sell you these damn things for like 60 or 70 bucks. I'm telling you, get on eBay, get yourself a stupid surplus one, and uh, it's, uh, they're not that expensive. So this one also fits in a little tighter. Didn't design it specifically to fit this one, but uh, it does fit in. So there you go. Take the scabbard off, and there you go. This one's actually reversed the blades on the top of this one. So that's nice. It fits in, same as the other one. So just slide this off. And uh, that pretty much does it for my rifles. And uh, I just wanted to show you. Like I said, it's pretty much just a hobby anymore. It's not, I don't really fire these things. It's just uh, something for me to for me to do. Like, I like to work on it. I like working with the, the stain and the finish. I like to smooth it out, sand it down. Um, I like the way they look. I've always been interested in muzzle loaders, but, you know, I'm not going to go out and buy a real one just because I don't have the money, time, place to shoot it, it would be, I don't want to say a waste of money, but it wouldn't be a wise investment in my financial situation right now, so I'm not going to do that. So anyway, I'm just going to do a quick view of all the rifles here. So, okay. This one at the top the bayonet one I'm working on, the first one I made, the, mo the first Mosin the Gaunt model I made, the assault r sniper rifle I made, and just another Mosin the Gaunt one. So, not too shabby. Alright, if there's any other questions, I would be happy to address them uh, about the pistols or the rifles, and where I can go in depth about a certain one or anything, any questions, let me know. Um, there was somebody who wanted to know um, I had uh, made a video and someone said, uh, you know, show all your guns. So I decided to make this quick video and uh, show them all the upgrades I've been working on, that type of thing. So, like I said, any questions, comments, um, write them down. I'll try to do what I can do. And, uh, that's about it. So, yeah. Guns. Look at all these pistols, though. I can't even make heads or tails of all this stuff. But, uh, anyway. Yeah. Thanks for watching.